Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In this video, we'll talk about function expression. Now see, we have talked about functions, we can create functions, we can pass a value, we can return a value and then uh, you can uh, specify the parameters as well and those things, right? But now, let's treat function as an expression. But before that, we have to understand what is an expression. See, if you say you have a variable, let's say the variable name is a and then when you assign a value, now this value can be an operation as well. So it can be 5 plus 6, right? Now, even before assigning the value of 5 plus 6 to A, first it will evaluate 5 plus 6, which is 11, right? So it will assign 11 to A. So that means this 5 plus 6 is an expression, right? So expression simply means it will evaluate and it will be assigned to a particular variable. Cool, if that makes sense. Okay, this is the first thing you have to understand. The second thing is, uh, if you remember, before talking about functions, we have talked about objects, right? Now, normally when you talk about different languages, we discuss about functions and then we move towards object. Now, what is different in JavaScript is JavaScript treat functions as an object. Okay, but that's tricky, right? If you remember the earlier sessions when we talked about data types, we have primitive types and we have object types. Whichever type is not primitive is an object, right? And in primitive, we have not seen function. So function is an object type. Okay, so JavaScript treat function as an object. Okay, so that is awesome, right? Let's try to understand what is function expression. So now we know what is expression and we also know that function is an object, right? So what I will do now is I will just create a function, but then uh, this will not be a normal function. Let's say I have a function add and we are saying equal to. Now that's weird. We are not creating a function like a function and then add. So we are creating a variable here, which is add. And now a function will be assigned to this variable. Okay, that's tricky. How do we do that? We create a function. Now this function will not have any name. That means it's an anonymous function or we can specify the parameters. Maybe I can say num1 comma num2, right? So basically we are creating a function which is anonymous, which is taking two parameters. And then this function is getting assigned to this variable add. So this is called a function expression because this will be evaluated and it will be assigned to add. Okay, that's cool, right? But then we are not doing any stuff here. So let's return. Uh, num1 plus num2. Of course, you can write multiple lines of code. There's no restriction that it should be having only one line of code. But as of now, just to keep it simple, we are doing this. Okay, so basically we got a function here and this function is getting assigned to this add. But the question arises, how will you call a function which doesn't have a name? Okay, so this function don't have a name, but this is assigned to add, right? So we can treat add as a function now. Okay, let me show you how. So I can say add and I can pass two values. I can say five plus six. So basically we are calling a function add, but then this will be calling this particular function, right? But that function also returns a value. So let's say let result is equal to add five comma six. Okay, so this is a function expression. And now let's print the value of result and I hope it will work and it worked. You see that? So what is different? Again, this is an anonymous function because it doesn't have a name. And this function is assigned to a variable called as add. And we can treat this add as a function now. Okay. In fact, the awesome thing is we can say let uh, sum is equal to add. Now what will happen is this variable will be assigned to sum. Now we can treat sum as a function. So basically we can play with this uh, thing here and let's try and it still works, right? Uh, so this is treating as an object. So you can imagine this is a function as an object assigned to a variable and then we can play with that variable now. Okay, but what happens if I try to print sum here? Now sum is not a function, right? It's a, it's a variable, but then we are assigning a function to a variable. So let's see what happens. If you run this code, you can see it says it's a function called add, right? So the add is getting assigned to sum. So still it's an add function ultimately. Cool. So that's about how do you create a function expression? So this is anonymous function assigned to a variable, or you can say an object. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye.